हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम सुप्रिया मोरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम द एस एस एम एस आई ओ आई टी सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द हाउ टू राइट अ सी प्रोग्राम फॉर द मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो यूजिंग द सी लैंग्वेज इज अ बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन सी दैट इज यू कैन एड सब्सट्रैक्ट मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड टू मैट्रेसेज टू डू सो वी आर टेकिंग इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर फॉर द रो नंबर्स एंड कॉलम नंबर्स फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स एलिमेंट्स एंड सेकंड मैट्रिक्स एलिमेंट्स सो देन वी कैर परफॉर्मिंग मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑन द मैट्रिक्स एंटर बाय द यूजर इन मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स वन रो एलिमेंट इज मल्टीप्लाई बाय द सेकंड मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑल कॉलम एलिमेंट्स सो लेट्स ट्राई टू द अंडरस्टैंड द मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू इंटू टू एंड थ्री इंटू थ्री मैट्रेस इज बाय द फिगर गिवन बिलू सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रोग्राम इन सी so how to write the c program so here first of all given the header files stdio.h and stdlib.h standard input output header file and standard library header file after that given the integer main function that is integer is a data type and main function is a actually start our execution program then given the integer a of 10 10 that is the array of matrix the string where we can uh, given the a of 10 this row first 10 is for the row and second for the column then b values that is to the first row and column this addition uh, this multiplication of two numbers rows and columns will be stored in the third matrices that is a multiplication 10 10 so it is a third multiplication mul variable are taken here because two multiplication of matrices result will be stored in the third variable that is a mul and then r c i j k these are the variable used for the number of rows columns for conditions etc the next step is the system crs is a clear the screen then print of uh, that is enter the number of rows so first of all enter the number of rows access using the integer that is a percent d and r for the rows second line is print of enter the number of columns so percent d and c is our number of columns then after the entering the rows values column values we can add the first matrix element that is a for i is equal to 0 i less than r i plus plus so first condition is for the rows and second for the column so i less than r and column c z i is a first for condition second for condition we are using variable z and r for the column and c for the column so that is a first matrix matrix element and that matrix element is a scan that function the percent and a of i z after the entering the values of rows and columns of first matrix element we can enter the second matrix of element same procedure which is already seen in previous one first matrix element so here again given the second matrix element that is a for i is equal to 0 i less than r i plus plus z is equal to 0 z less than c z plus plus this is a for condition of i and z for rows and column after the entering the for condition we scan that conditions and second matrix is done after the entering the values of first matrix is second matrix is the result will be stored on the third matrix is that is a multiplication of the matrix so already we use the variable mul variable mul variable on the initialization phase so same condition that is a number of rows number of columns we are to take conditions for i and z for the number of rows and number of columns after the multiplication of matrix values enter the result will be stored of the third matrix is that is a mul of i and z and this result store using for the for condition k is equal to 0 k less than c and k plus plus so main logic of the matrix of multiplication that is a multiplication of result i of z plus equal to a of i k into the b of k z so that is a main logic of the program where we can enter that uh, enter that the first matrix one row element is multiplied by second matrix is all columns element and that result will be stored on the third variable that is a multiplication of i and z values so this is a simple matrix multiplication programs here output is given that the enter the suppose number of row 3 columns number 3 then first matrix element as to 1 1 1 2 3 that is a 3 by 3 then second matrix values enter the number of rows and columns and the value with the same will be the put otherwise different after the multiplication of the matrix that is to the 6 6 6 12 12 10 10 it is a final output of the multiplication of two matrix and the result will be stored on the multiplication of the matrix and this store the variable multiplication of i and j number of rows and number of columns that is a 2 into 2 and 3 into 3 matrices by the figures is given below i hope you understand this matrix multiplication of program using in a c language thank you keep watching we will see in the next video lecture thank you bye bye